Well, the big breaking news at this hour is that a Pakistani helicopter was seen flying in Indian airspace uh, in Jammu and Kashmir's Poot sector, following which the army also tried to shoot it down. Now, the Pakistani chopper flew for nearly five minutes inside Indian territory, according to the norms recognized by both India and Pakistan. Helicopters are not supposed to come within one kilometer of the line of control, and a fixed-wing aircraft within 10 kilometers of the line of control so this clearly seems like a breach uh, in february remember a pakistani helicopter was seen flying 300 meters from the line of control in today's incident however is being seen as an airspace violation unlike the previous incidents in this case And uh, joining us to talk a little bit more about this on the phone is Anil Chopra, Air Defence Marshal, retired. So thank you very much uh, for joining us this afternoon. Your thoughts of what exactly happened today clearly looks like a breach of Indian airspace uh, came, coming quite uh, close into five kilometres inside Indian airspace. So how should we look at this? Uh, firstly, I think uh, it is very important to understand the importance of the location uh, yes. Poonch is a very sensitive uh, sector. This place, uh, Gulpur, we're just across the border. Uh, it has been one of the very active uh, terrorist camp uh, pads, launch pads. Uh, in fact, it's one of the most important of the 14 launch pads uh, from across the country. So considering this, this becomes uh, just not a routine mistake uh, mm -hmm. of somebody having strayed in. Uh, you know, the things, uh, uh, five minutes is a long period. It's not a short time uh, to be inside our territory. And uh, presently, the things between India and Pakistan are not so good. The, uh, we, we are celebrating surgical strikes in India. The new government in Pakistan is still to uh, settle down. The Indian foreign minister has exposed Pakistan in UN uh, General Assembly. And uh, uh, in background of all this, now, the, uh, the helicopter can be clearly viewed, uh, as has been shown on your channel. Right. Uh, the radar cover in this sector is quite mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Chances are that the Indian Air Force would have uh, noted this violation uh, on the radar also. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, this coverage uh, is uh, uh, presumed uh, that once the ra radar uh, has seen it, both the Indian Air Force and the Indian Army must have reacted to the intrusion as per its uh, SOPs. Right. Very important points there being made, sir, by you that this five minutes is a very long time. This would have been noticed by the Indian Army and Defence Forces. Uh, and we also picked up, of course, that the Indian side tried to shoot it down. I don't know what the meaning of tried to shoot down uh, would be here. And we will have to understand the protocol in this. And we will uh, be talking to you further on this. But my colleague uh, Ishani, Ishan Wani is also joining us uh, from Srinagar on more on this and uh, uh, Ishan what are you picking up from the Indian side on this uh, we are hearing that there were attempts to shoot down this uh, helicopter but those were unsuccessful and uh, in fact our colleague uh, in Pakistan uh, giving us some conflicting information uh, that this chopper actually uh, had the Prime Minister of Pakistan sources indicating in this flight that sounds extremely strange well, yes, absolutely. As soon as this incident took place, there were reports that the aircraft flew from the Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. And that indicates that it may be carrying, as my colleague Anas has reported, that the Pakistan-occupied Kashmir Prime Minister may have been in this plane. And that's what our sources are picking up right now. But this incident happened at around 12.30 hours Indian Standard Time, when this aircraft was spotted both by the locals. The visuals that you're seeing on your screens are recorded by the, uh, by the locals. And mm -hmm. as the defense experts said, it's a five-minute long time that they spend in the Indian territory. That's a long time. As there are norms laid that they cannot come close one kilometer close to the line of control. But this incident, you know, remember, Poonch has been really volatile and there have been attempts for the infiltration as well as there have been exchange of gunfire between the Pakistan uh, Army, uh, Pakistan uh, Rangers and the Indian Army in the past as well. Remember, in February last year, there was an aircraft which was also spotted coming towards the Indian territory again. But this time it has come 250 meters inside and uh, after which the Indian Army has retaliated, it, it shot towards this aircraft but with a small uh, arms and ammunition. That's what the army has said in their initial briefing uh, to the media that there were small arms which was used because it came inside. It's a white color heli uh, helicopter that was spotted by the locals and after which it went back to the other side.
Right. Uh, uh, Ishan, thanks very much for that. If Anil Chopra, uh, your retired Air Defence Marshal, is still with us, sir, uh, your thoughts on the reaction that we are getting from Pakistan that saying it was again an accidental uh, issue that happened, an accidental airspace violation, and that it was corrected soon by going back into Pakistani airspace? Uh, I just heard uh, one of your correspondents uh, mentioning that perhaps the Park Prime Minister yes. was on board. Well, if that is really true, then it uh, would be very serious, serious from their point of view. Yes. Because if the Prime Minister was on board and if he would have come into our territory, uh, it can high uh, risk and a, a, a big risk between the two countries. Uh, as far as the reaction of the Indian Army or the Air Force is concerned, the first step is to identify uh, so that we are sure that this is a uh, aircraft. But in mm -hmm. this case, since it is next to the border, the helicopter is mm -hmm. seen coming from the other side, and our people can easily identify their own helicopters. And therefore, uh, the reaction would have been more or less immediate. And the reaction immediately would be with the small arm fires, because uh, that is what is immediately available with the army uh, uh, units right. uh, uh, on near the border. Right. So I just wanted to actually clarify, it was, of course, uh, the PM of, uh, you know, Azad Kashmir, as they say, POK. Uh, but nonetheless, of course, a serious violation there by the Pakistani side once again, who are now denying this as a violation, but saying it was accidental. Thanks very much, sir, for joining us uh, with your perspective.